It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from one of Britain's kind of most traditional brewers. A brewer that had my intrigue when I first started reviewing beer on the channel. That was, of course is Feakston Brewery and they do and they did back then produce a beer called Old Peculiar. And you can buy Old Peculiar anywhere. It's available even in the small Tesco Express stores. This is, of course, Deakston Best Bitter at 3.8% ABV. But you can buy Old Peculiar more or less anywhere. It's kind of, as I mentioned, small Tesco Express stores, home bargains, that sort of thing. And it's just a really good, it's a great name, isn't it? Quite peculiar beer. Kind of dark, it's not quite a stout. It's, it's kind of more of a dark, mild, cross stout style beer. And if you're interested in beer, you're always going to kind of look at that beer and, and kind of want to drink it, especially when I, I've seen it in cask around the Cardiff pubs every now and again. And it's beautiful on cask. It's a really lovely pint. But other than Theakston Old Peculiar, you don't really see any other Theakston beers, especially down south, especially South Wales, where I live. The only beer from Theakston's I've ever seen for sale in South Wales is Old Peculiar. Now, when I unboxed this beer, it was re I had some quite a lot of comments on this beer actually. For us in South Wales, in Asda, this is a new beer. Theakston Best Bitter is a new beer. It wasn't around, it wasn't kind of brought that far north. Old Peculiar was, it wasn't brought that far south, should I say. But, but now it has. So, a lot of the comments were, oh, that's been around in Asda's. For a long, long time. Not our Asda's, not down south. Um, so it's nice actually to see Theakston spreading their wings a bit and maybe going national, putting their beers, some of their other beers out nationally. So this is their best bitter, 3.8% ABV. We'll read all about it in a minute, but I want to get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I had to buy four cans of it. That's a lager glass. <laughs> Here's an ale glass. I had to buy four cans of it, so I've got three cans of it left. Um, it was it was about five pounds for four cans, which, as long as it tastes okay, that's kind of like one pound twenty five a can. That's, that's quite cheap, isn't it? Five or six pounds. I, I think it was a fiver. If it was six pounds, I do apologise. We got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation here on the beer. It's amber in colour, as most best bitters are. So they've used a slightly darker malt in this beer. Good head retention. It looks like Dare I say it, and I, I very much doubt it. I, I, it must be down to Theakston's brewing techniques, the way they brew good beer. It looks almost like, slightly like it's got a nitro kind of head going on there. Probably not. I don't think Theakston's would um, go down that route. Um, let's get the aroma on the beer then. There's no sediment in the bottom. It's not a bottle can conditioned beer. Aroma. Yeah, it smells quite nice actually, quite fruity, quite a fruity number, kind of slightly darker fruits in this one. What about a plum fig? Hedgerow fruits, wild growing hedgerow fruits as I like to kind of imagine. It smells good, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. As Strongbow would say, dark fruits. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I've just, some of you might know this because you watched the previous review of the St. Austell Best, but I just reviewed the St. Austell Best, which I also picked up in Asda, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. I thought it was way too tinny and way too metallic. This is much more like a best bitter that I would drink. 
Um, you're getting some of the hops in there. You're getting some of the malt in there. Um, it's not tinny and metallic like the St. Austell Best was. I really didn't like that one. Um, this is much more akin to a, a proper, proper session Best Bitter. It's malty, it's biscuity, it's nutty. It's nicely hopped on the back end. Yeah, I mean, if I'm looking for a little day, say you put, you got a lunchtime football game kicking off on a Saturday afternoon, you know, and you and you may have a party to go to later on in the evening. You don't want to rock up at the party, you know, already half messed up. You know, this is the sort of kind of four pack. Here they are. This is the site kind of Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon lunchtime football kickoff beer that you could quite happily quaff away at, enjoy, not get too merry. And yeah, it's just kind of like, it's just kind of there, isn't it? It's just kind of one of those beers. It's nice. I really like that. I really like that. It's got a rich, creamy mouthfeel. Yeah, a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy, hoppy, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Nice and bready and malty. Importantly, importantly, even though it's 3.8% ABV, it's not that watery, it's not that thin, it's got a nice mouthfeel, it holds up, it's steady. They, they really kind of worked on this, Theakstons, oh, of course they have, they've been around forever, Theakstons, when did they, when did they start their brewery? Um, there's no real date on this, the official of the Peculiar of Masham, 1741. 1741, so they've had plenty of time to work on this and kind of sort it out, make a decent beer out of it. And it's exactly that, it's a decent beer. Now it is Wednesday. I normally play snooker. I will be playing snooker this evening. Uh, and this is the type of beer, I play three frames of snooker, best of three, with my mate. Um, we normally drink Doomba. Doomba's on on the old pump there. And it's not the greatest of beer, Doomba, is it? I mean, far from it, but I'd rather drink that than some of the wishy-washy lagers that they got in our club. Um, I'd rather drink Doomba. And you can kind of switch off. You kind of, you're not concentrating on beer, you're concentrating on snooker. It's a hell of a battle we have in the snooker. Um... We're not the best players in the world, but we have a go. And you're not concentrating. The beer's just there on the side. The beer's just on a little side table with a beer mat. And the beer's just there. And we're, you know, you're not concentrating on the beer. You're playing snooker. And, and again, this could be an, another example. This could be another example of a beer that, that you know, you're not going to start drinking Imperial stuff playing snooker, are you? Playing darts type of thing. You know, All right, let's crack open this Courage Russian Imperial Stout. You know, see if I can get double ten, double top. You know, it's not going to work, is it? Same as snooker. It's acute. It, it's kind of you're looking at your angles. You're trying to play safe. And oh, it, it, I might take a cheeky one. I do. I go for it all the time. A cheeky long pot. I always go for the long pots. I'm, I'm like get down like they do. Um, Mark, Mark Williams type of thing and try and slam a long one in. Normally, I just spread the balls everywhere and make a right mess of it. <laughs> but it's nice. It's a really, really, really nice, biscuity, hoppy, lovely, lovely bitter. I'm glad I've got another three cans of it. The quintessential English best bitter. Amber in colour, subtle, spicy citrus and aroma, and a perfectly balanced mix of sweet malt and bittersweet fruit in flavour. Unpasteurised, cold filtered to protect the truly unique flavour of our beer. <laughs> it's good, and even <laughs> they even explain how to pour it. Well, I don't have to read that, do I? Theakston's best bit of them, between five and six pound in Asda, I can't quite remember, I do apologise. Um, I'd I, I quite happily pick it up again. 
It's an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.